Okay, and starting again from now. All right, so uh, welcome to Gamma in VR. Quick and dirty setup. Oh, Lord, I actually got to go all the way back out, huh? Because that window was there from the get-go. All right, so yeah. <clears throat> all right, hey, everybody. Welcome to Stalker Gamma in VR. I'm assuming that you have everything up and running, that you've gotten the game installed and you've ran it yourself and you have all the stuff as you like to your settings and then it runs smooth, semi-smoothly on your system. <clears throat> we are now going to attach VR to it by buying Vorpex and installing it. You have to get a key from the developer, they'll email you, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. If you already got it, then it's as easy as starting it in administrator mode. We're already running. And then you're just going to want to run. And then hit play stalker. Anomaly. Now, <clears throat> the first time you do this, it'll take a really long time. And then a Vorpex window will pop up asking you if you want to do a whole bunch of different things. You're going to hit install hook helper. And then just do it again. And then it should just run. I'm using the Steam VR system. So okay out of that error and then hit control sh alt shift to close that and then go to now playing return to game and boom you're in vr but not quite full vr hit delete <clears throat> this will bring up a menu that only vr people can see but this is the vorpex settings menu and right now you're in immersive screen mode which puts a screen in front of you and a semi kind of back look around around it uh, and the main settings on the Vorpex menu after you hit delete, at the very top uh, play style, you're going to go over to, to the right, pass cinema mode into full VR mode. Then hit the middle mouse button, or OK and save, hit the middle mouse button, and then that will bring the screen away from you so you could actually see everything. Hit the middle mouse button again, and then that will pop it into full VR. Now, having said that, hit delete again and more full VR settings. I pretty much have this all stock and as is. There is no 3D reconstruction. I haven't figured out how to get that working and some other stuff like that, but this is just a quick and dirty for those that want it, um, how to get it working with VR. So, plenty of stuff for you to play around in and join my Discord uh, for any setup or troubleshooting issues. I'll have a full-blown, long VR tutorial here like I normally do for these type of games uh, soon. <clears throat> So, having said that, now we go to go to game settings. Most important for visuals is setting the field of view to 110. Uh, depending on the headset, you might want higher or lower. Uh, run it in a 1440p. Uh, that would basically be the best for, you know, um, I guess, performance sake. And then the HUD FOV, you're going to want to put it at 0.9. These are the most comfortable I've found, but... These are going to be the most important sliders to mess with to get it the way you work, or to get it the way you want visually. As far as getting it to work, the most important control is your keybinds and free look to mouse four or something very quick and easy that you can get to. Mouse four will let, or you know, your free look will let you look left or right really quickly. Other than that, yes, it is turret aim. <clears throat> it's a 15 plus year old engine and game, we're very lucky that we're even able to get the DirectX 11 and 64-bit working, so uh, you take what you can get. But the free look definitely adds a little bit of immersion to it. So, having said that, uh, this is the end of the quick and dirty setup tutorial, which will be a highlight up on YouTube. Uh, from here on out, we're going to start a new game and just see how far we can get with the story. Uh, if you want to watch that, then uh, stick around. Uh, if not, as always, uh, till next time, stay safe and fly right. Okay, so about that new game.